this is an example of C pointers uh, shown with the help of Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express. This program can be downloaded free from Microsoft but you will have to register after you download. Normally the programs are written in C++ but you might want to use it for C and hence here is an example as to how to use it for the language C. There is a simple trick which I will explain as you go along. Now to start a new project we will say new project and then we have to select Win32 console application. You click on that and then you enter the name. I will choose the name Okay, I chose the name pointer underscore C and I also leave the solution name the same. Then when you click on OK, you will have to hit next in Win32 application wizard. When you say next, you will have to choose empty project and then you click on finish. A pointer C project creation is successful. That's what is telling. Now there is no solution explorer here. In order to view the solution explorer you go into view solution explorer so now you see the pointer C and you expand pointer C and here you have to add a source file so you say you right click on the source file and you get the option of add and add new items and here you are going to add C++ file and here is the trick for using the C language programs. All you have to do is to give an extension with .c. So I'm going to type in the name of the file. The name of the file is pointer.c and I click on add. Now instead of typing all the lines of the program, I already put it on the clipboard. So I am going to paste it from the clipboard. Okay, here is the program. And this program, I'll explain to you how it works. It has two float variables, height and weight, and then there are two pointers declared. And these pointers have to have asterisk before them. That's the syntax for declaring in C. So there are two pointers, and these pointers are to the float. They are declared as float. Now I'm defining the variable height equal to 5.5 and weight is equal to 130.5. Now, that the print statement shows that you can show the value of height and also the address of height. In order to get an address, you have to put the sign and before the height. That's the syntax. So now in the printout you will see the value and then the address for both height and weight one after the other. 
Next, I'm going to assign to the pointer the value of the address. So this is what is being done. Next, I'm going to print the value at the memory location pointed by the pointer. Then I'm going to change the content of that address equal to 6.5. In order to change the content at a pointer, you've got to precede it with an asterisk. So now you have new values at the address of first the height and then the weight. Value at the memory location of height is this is what it is. So you can access it either by the pointer, that's what this printf illustrates, or you could access the value by the variable name itself. The same is true for the weight. You either access it with the pointer by having a, an asterisk before it, which means the content of the pointer or by the variable name weight. Next, the arithmetic has been illustrated. So you can easily add values to the content pointed by the pointer. You can subtract or add and again it has been printed out. And the last get character is to keep the console output. So you just press and enter to exit the console output. Now we're going to build. So you go into the build and say build solution. So the build one succeeded. Now we'll go for the debug. Debug, start debugging. Okay, here is the debug console. In order to show both the consoles together, I'm going to minimize and leave both the screen side by side. So you can see both of them at the same time. Okay. Okay. So now if you start at the top, okay, you can see how it works. Okay, first print shows the value which is 5.5 and the second one shows the value of weight which is 130.5 after the value the address is also shown so this is the address of the pointer and the content of the pointer is the value which is height now we are assigning the address to the pointer here and then what we will do is value in memory we are going to access the same value in the memory location now with the help of pointer so we access and we get the same value again so value in memory location is 5.5 and 130.5 but this time the access is done with the help of pointers now we'll change the content of the memory location with the help of pointers. So putting an asterisk before the pointer always lets you access the content. So now the content has been accessed and we change the value. And then the new value of the memory location, value at the memory location of height is 6.5 which we are trying to print using the pointer and again the value can be printed directly by the variable name which is the same so you can access the same item either with the help of pointer or directly by the variable name the same is done for the weight and next the subtraction and additions have been illustrated you could easily add to the content pointed by the pointer. You could either subtract or add, do arithmetic. And after that, the results have been printed. 
and the last item get character is just to keep the console output.